Hi, this is Robert from Lounge Audio. We're going to go over how I adjust the RIAA response for an LCR Mark III. This is also the same for gold and silver. So this is a fresh LCR Mark III. We've brought it up in basic ways so we know it passes signals. So now we're ready to do the RIAA adjustment. So what I have here is I have the, the unit hooked up to a function generator a millivolt meter and a frequency counter. And the first thing I do to adjust the frequency response is get a one kilohertz signal running at a relatively high level to adjust for the high frequency response. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it set for one kilohertz and then go in and look at the 20 kilohertz level reference to the one kilohertz adjustment. So first of all, I have to turn this knob here for amplitude and this knob here for frequency. This is already done and we're already set for one kilohertz. And now I'm going to bring it up to plus 10 dB and that's going to be my zero reference. Okay, so there we are, zero dB at, at plus 10 at one kilohertz. So now I've got to check 20 kilohertz. 20 kilohertz is something that we do not do exact RIAA compliance. We adjust it to 0.6 dB higher than the RIAA says that 20 kilohertz should be adjusted for. This has been done by years and years of customer feedback. I used to adjust it even higher, but uh, now we found out that it sounds best adjusted at plus 0.6 dB. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to switch my function generator to 20 kilohertz. And there we are at 20 kilohertz, a little bit higher than that, 20.91. It's analog gear, so it's a bit touchy. And so there we go. So we're at 20.03 kilohertz. So now I'm going to look at the, the RIAA response. It's a little bit high right now, so now I'm going to use the high frequency adjust trim pot I have on the unit to, to adjust for a 0.6 dB over RIAA compliance at 20 kilohertz. Okay, there we go. So there is 0.6 dBs above 20 kilohertz. Now I'm going to move on to the low frequencies. So now I'm going to take my 1 kilohertz and adjust it much lower in level because low frequencies are higher than your 1 kilohertz reference. So I'm going to bring down, I'm going to go back to 1K and bring the amplitude way down to adjust 1K at minus 10 dB. So now I'm moving 1K at 20 dB is lower than it was for the high frequency adjustment. So there's 1K. And now I'm just doing a little trick to speed up the frequency counter to catch the frequency. So now we've got 1.005 kilohertz at minus 10 dBs. So I'm going to check a very important frequency for bass response, which is 200 hertz. 200 hertz is where almost all systems will give you a, a, a perception of bass. Most bookshelf speakers start rolling off at about 150 hertz, 100 hertz. So uh, when you go below 200 hertz, you're, you're stuck with already, you know, unknowable low frequency responses. People buy subwoofers, so that changes everything too. 200 hertz is very important. I call it the disco frequency. That's where your bass drum, your pumping bass drum is really centered at. So I'm going to get 200, kilo, 200 hertz set to as close to RIAA compliance as I can, which is a plus 8.2 dB. So here we go. So I have to do a little trick here to get the frequency counter to work fast. So now I've got it set for 200 hertz. Rescale the meter. And I gotta check and see that I'm a little bit over 8 dB. Eight, it's basically 8 and a quarter dB. It's 8.22 dB is, is what it, I believe it is. 
Um, so, and basically we're right about there. So at this point, the basic low frequency adjustment is done, but, but because of the way inductors work, I want to check 20 hertz. 20 hertz I set at RIAA compliance or a little bit low. I certainly don't want to set it high because I don't want to give people problems with rumble. So now I'm going to switch to 20 hertz and I'm going to scale the meter and I'm right at RIAA compliance right here. Now what I will do is I'll go check a few other frequencies to, to, uh, to make sure everything is right. Frequencies like 31 hertz, 35 hertz. I'll take a look at those and I'll probably end up backing off on the uh, response by about a tenth of a dB at 200 hertz to bring in 35 and 30 hertz right at compliance and then at that point 20 hertz will be slightly below compliance by about half a dB and that's the beginning of how I adjust the RIAA response of the LCR, uh, Mark III, the silver and the gold. And uh, of course, these trim bots are there, and if you get the unit and you say, wow, I want more bass or less bass, whatever you got going on with your room modes or whatever, hey, you can go in, you know, once you, once you order the unit and it gets you, you can adjust, especially the bass response. Some people want less bass response, they have rumble problems. You can go in and back off on this yourself. And, uh, and just, uh, you know, be able to adjust things. But I send it out to you in this way so that you at least have a good reference point to start with. And that is how I adjust the RIAA compliance on the LCR Mark III. Thank you very much for watching.